Jurassic Park lied to you. We will never clone a dinosaur, not in a million years. And the reason why is terrifying. Imagine a world 66 million years ago. A Tyrannosaurus rex roars, its breath fogging in the humid air. Every cell in its body, every drop of its blood, holds the key to its existence, DNA, the ultimate blueprint of life. For decades, we believed that if we could just find a piece of this ancient DNA, we could bring them back. Maybe from a mosquito trapped in amber, just like in the movies. The idea was simple. Find the code, fill in the gaps, grow an embryo, and watch a dinosaur hatch in the 21st century. But science has uncovered a brutal truth. DNA is not immortal. It's fragile. It's a complex molecule that begins to break down the moment an organism dies. Scientists call this its half-life. Think of it like a countdown timer. After about 521 years, half of the DNA bonds in a sample have broken. After another 521 years, half of the remaining bonds are gone, and so on. It's a relentless process of decay. Even in the absolute best conditions, frozen deep in ice, scientists estimate that every last fragment of DNA would be completely unreadable after about 6.8 million years. Now, remember when the dinosaurs died out, 66 million years ago. That's nearly 10 times longer than the absolute maximum survival time for DNA. What's left inside a fossil isn't DNA, it's rock. Every single strand, every gene has turned to stone. There is no blueprint left to read. There are no gaps to fill. There is only silence. An echo of a lost world we can never, ever touch. We cut on clone a T-Rex for the same reason we cut on unscramble an egg that has been cooked, shattered, and ground into dust. The information is gone forever. So, the dinosaurs aren't coming back. Their genetic code has vanished into the abyss of deep time. But this reveals a more chilling thought. If their DNA is gone, what other ancient nightmares have been erased from history, leaving behind no trace at all?